Well, hello, my beautiful Leo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for May 2023. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one to one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful. Scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Okay, let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. So please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Leo, this is your monthly reading for May 2023. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. Uh, just to make you aware, May is quite a huge month astrologically. We do have three major events to look forward to. Now, the first major one is the full moon eclipse, and it's on the 5th of May. It's in the sign of Scorpio. Eclipses, they do tend to bring very chaotic energy and can make you really feel drained. It can also bring tremendous change. And being in the sign of Scorpio, this can indicate clandestine changes behind the scenes. So on a global scale, there may be uh, some changes that will surface by the end of the year that are being implemented right now, and we're not even aware of those things. Uh, on a personal level, it can, as I said, drain your energy initially, but it encourages you to make powerful changes in your life, changes that you might keep to yourself until you are happy with them or they're fully realized okay uh, now whilst this is exhausting energy during this eclipse it will offer you a portal of self-knowledge to confront things that you've outgrown declutter your life and on a global scale you could see some shocking events during this time this month unfold especially um, in the financial sector as we are moving into Taurus season now, Taurus rules money, acquisitions, savings, pensions, inflation, and financial structures, as well as alliances. And we're already seeing major shifts on a global scale towards a more digital currency. So you may hear a little bit more news about that because Mercury goes direct on the 15th of May. Um, when Mercury goes direct, it means news or information is a little bit more free flowing. So um, it also means that if you've been having problems with any um, electrical appliances or your emails have been going a bit astray or your internet hasn't been working, uh, it does mean that things get a little bit easier from the 15th of May because Mercury goes direct. Um, so that is a really positive um, experience. Now, Jupiter moves into Taurus and that lasts until May next year. Now this is very positive because Jupiter is the planet of abundance, good luck and good fortune. So it's not all doom and gloom. Um, I do have to give you a little note, however, about um, Jupiter moving into uh, Taurus because as soon as it does that, its first major uh, alignment, shall we say, is a clash with Pluto. Now Pluto is associated with the hidden, so things coming to light suddenly uh, which may affect us on a global scale, but also the planet Pluto was associated with the pandemic or is associated with pandemics. So I know I don't want to hear about it either, um, but um, we may actually have a reminder of that during May, um, a reminder of those difficult years. I mean, no one wants to look back at those things, uh, but we may also hear developments regarding it as well. Um, so we may hear more stories in the news about how things are developing on that scale. So as I said, I don't want to hear about it either. And I know you're, that's the last thing that you want to be on your mind, but I just want to make you aware and be really honest about the alignments so that, you know, it doesn't surprise you. It doesn't shock you. And um, what's really positive this time round is that Jupiter is on our side. Jupiter is present. So this time it suggests an easier time for us all. Okay. Now Jupiter is a benevolent planet and it will be available to all of us until 2024. So it's a really positive time for us all to attract more wealth, even though we do have the price of living going up a little bit more 
inflation uh, fluctuating, um, it does give us all an opportunity to find ways to bring more finances into our lives, okay? So this can be a very lucky year financially for uh, the majority for, for humanity. So um, I feel lots of people will be connecting to um, side hustles, second streams of income, uh, things to do with the internet is what I'm definitely picking up on. Uh, now also, it is a perfect time for you to um, look at restructuring your finances, look at your budget, and really focus on protecting all that you've worked really hard for, keeping an eye on where you house your finances, um, just to make sure that the institutions are not linked by license. If you have a certain amount of money in certain um, institutions, they may not be covered um, regarding insurance, shall we say, should there ever be a major fluctuation. Now that message keeps coming through, you know, it's been coming through for me in the readings and the energy for, I mean, a good six to eight months. I've been mentioning it in my readings and there's a reason, okay? We can already see structures fluctuating, changing, uh, and it's better to keep an eye on it than ignore it, okay? That's what I'm picking up. Now, I do want to say it is actually a very, very positive time for you. Uh, I see your cards. Uh, you're putting yourself in a really good position. I feel on the home scale, you're really focused on um, your responsibilities, your duties, and this month is no different, okay? Um, I feel like you're putting a little bit of extra effort into something um, that will reap rewards and your fourth house is governing you at this time, and that's all about, you know, domesticity, your home life. Some of you may be restructuring your home. You may be doing a little bit of DIY. You may actually um, be decluttering um, or reorganizing things. Um, also, I get a sense that some of you may be doing like some painting um, or just you know, reconfiguring a room, or you may be looking at where you feel like you belong. So, because home is where the heart is. And if you feel right now you're not in the place that you really want to be in, that fourth house is going to influence you to really look at where you're at and where you want to be. And that's not just in terms of the home space. When I say home is where the heart is, that also indicates your heart being in your working environment, or if you're retired, are you in the right country? Are you in the right company? It's really about where you feel like you belong. So you're going to do a lot of analyzing this month regarding where you feel your place is to fit in in the world. Now also, this is a perfect time for you to uh, connect on a philosophical level um, as well as a physical and spiritual level. You're going to be more focused on value, how you value yourself and look at areas where you feel people have misunderstood you, where you've undervalued your own skills or uh, undersold yourself, shall we say, um, or where you feel people have under... Uh, how can I put that? Yeah, have underestimated you and what you're capable of. I actually see you showing anybody who's been, um, you know, underestimating you. I see you being very successful and showing them, almost teaching them that, you know, don't underestimate me because I've got the power to get to where I want to go. You've got the desire, you've got the skills, and you're very, very talented. Um, now, some of you also will be focused on being very productive, lots of home responsibilities, paying bills. You may even restructure a payment plan, um, and you may think about real estate. Some of you may be actually saving for real estate in the future, or you may be thinking about buying something now, looking at you know economic fluctuations. There will be a period where things actually go down in price, I mean, it's not going to go down by much is what I'm seeing at the moment, but that's what I'm feeling with the energy as well. Um, also, I really get a desire to be in a bit more of a soul searching mood. You are by the end of the month, it's around about mid month, your 10th house kicks in there and that's all about ambition. So you're going to be very productive. You're going to be getting stuff done. Whether you're retired or in the working sector, you're going to be in the mode of doing. So you're going to also feel very rewarded uh, and fulfilled because you're going to have so much done. You're going to be feeling very, very proud of yourself. Also, the 10th house rules your, your reputation and you sort of almost rediscovering yourself or reestablishing yourself in a way where you feel um, you're on the right track and people see you as a force to be reckoned with. Now, your first card here is the cause and effect card. It is the justice card. So this indicates you've got some really good karma coming your way, but also you're trying to bring balance to your life. This card indicates there's something on your mind that you want to accomplish and you know that you have to put the effort into it in order to get it done. So with your two, I mean, this is your protagonist energy. You've got the seven of pentacles and you've got the queen of pentacles. You're not wasting time. You're not allowing anything to derail you from your path. 
Now, sometimes you may have felt that you know you need to do something, but you've had low energy and you felt, oh gosh, I know I got to do this thing, but suddenly you find yourself procrastinating or wanting to do something else in order to take your mind off it. But I feel in the month of May, you're going to get really supercharged this eclipse, this full moon eclipse in Scorpio is actually going to affect you on a very deep level where it helps you like um, release anything that's been draining your energy. So for example, if you've been having uh, food that you really love, but afterwards you feel a little bit sluggish or you feel a little bit bloated, you may actually start rethinking how you eat and, you know, your schedule. So if you know that you've got, you know, a big project on, for example, and you, you're thinking, okay, I need to have a lot of concentration and I need to really make sure that I get this done. I've got a deadline. You may decide, you know what, today maybe I'll have, uh, I won't have the pasta because I'm just saying pasta because that's my uh, bugbear. I love it. But as soon as I have it, I feel so content and it's time to snooze. Okay. So I just feel like, oh, I'm going to just sink into the sofa now. And, you know, but I've still got lots of stuff to do. So I'm just giving you an idea of you really looking at your energetic exchange in the month of May and you looking at where you extend your energy, what's worth it and what's not. You're not wasting time. Um, also with the cause and effect, they're indicating here you need to bring more music into your life to raise your vibrations. You may have been feeling a little bit low energy or unmotivated recently. And it can be because a lot of you are feeling very uncertain about the times we're living in, especially since you've got the moon card and the hierophant. A lot of you may be questioning the institutions that have been built around us as society. And I know this is going really deep, Leo. I didn't intend it to go there, but the energy is coming up. So some of you have been feeling very uncertain and you may be feeling that something is afoot, but you're not sure what it is. So you're trying to commit yourself on a personal level to some of your goals and your dreams and your aspirations and the projects that you want to get done, but also so you feel something is changing behind the scenes. Now, of course, as I've already mentioned, we do have that eclipse energy that's going to feel a little bit amplified. Know that you are putting yourself in a really good position to weather any changes or any, because I see, you know, with your, your cards here, you're actually making some adjustments in your life just in case. That's what I'm feeling. There's a just in caseness about this energy. And I see that you're actually putting yourself in a really good position to attract what you need, but also attract more prosperity um, and more opportunity. Um, for some of you with the Seven of Pentacles, you've been working super hard. So so hard on your career um, or your investments or on projects and it has been a bit of a struggle because the seven of pentacles indicates that there's something here that perhaps has been developing but it's either been a bit too slow or you're feeling a little bit dissatisfied with it. You're checking in with the exchange, asking yourself, is it worth it? But you're being given an energy to remember all your wins. You've actually accomplished a lot and you've come a long way in such a short space of time. Be proud of yourself. Don't always be thinking about the next goal and onto the next and onto the next. Make sure you give yourself an opportunity to revel in your wins because you know you deserve success and happiness and you know sometimes you don't give yourself that space to breathe to accept that you know something really went well for yourself you're always like on to the next project or on to the next thing so they're giving an energy of you don't have to slow down but at the same time you know reward yourself, you know, even if it's like, you know what, I did good. Even if it's like a little pep talk to yourself, they're indicating you're investing a lot of time and energy and whatever it is you're focused on, you're actually attracting more wealth into your life. Now, the seven of pentacles is a, really a, an energy of feeling, okay, things are going okay. You may have enough to do you at this moment in time and you're thinking about um, building upon what you've got. So you may be like ticking over nicely, you know, you're able to pay the bills, you're able to uh, put some food on the table. Uh, some of you may have felt that you've had to restructure your budget or you're looking at the things that you buy normally and that they're going up in value and you are finding better deals. That's definitely going to continue this month where you find a better deal. So for example, if something you purchase in the supermarket has gone double in price, you may actually go to the local farmer's market, for example, and you may find it 
at you know a better price and better quality so I feel like you're I just get this energy of you shopping around and that's not just for food I'm talking about uh, electrical goods or even property if you're trying to get into the real estate game or if you're trying to buy a house for example I see you shopping around in the month of May and getting a really good deal for um, what you want to spend your finances on now we do also have the queen of pentacles which is often called the queen of abundance male or female not a gender specific reading it's about the energy you're being very conservative about your finances and i feel that you're being able to slowly save for something that um, perhaps has taken you a long time but you will accomplish your goal okay you definitely with the the lover's card there it indicates you're actually attracting what you are vibing at right now so Thoughts become things. Whatever it is you're focused on, you will accomplish that. And May is a really good month for this as well. Now, also the Queen of Pentacles indicates, you know, you have a real desire to create financial security for you and your loved ones. And this is something that perhaps is on your mind heavily. So you may actually reach out when you've got cause and effect, which is the justice card. You may be looking for people who are truth seekers or truth tellers um, who want to give you like alternative news sources that you're not seeing readily in everyday life on, you know, the TV, for example. So you may go searching for information, maybe on YouTube, I'm not sure or where I'm picking up this energy from, but I feel like you will find resourceful um, advice from people um, that will help you build upon what you've got. Now, I always say do your due diligence, you know, make sure you don't connect to any get quick rich schemes. What I see here is you being very, um, I mean, you've got a lot of pentacles here, which means um, you're actually um, really focused on finances but maybe that's because of your fourth house which really connects to the home space and security and building a solid foundation so i see with the queen of pentacles there that you are someone who works really hard or you have worked really hard for the finances or the acquisitions that you have and you are safeguarding them because this is a card of wealth but it's also um, a, a card of conservation okay um, also the queen of pentacles she multiplies her finances there's normally a rabbit there's not a rabbit rabbit here but there's normally rabbits in a queen of pentacles card which indicates multiplication uh, finances um, you know multiplying so I feel like you are attracting more wealth. Some of you may set up a second stream of income or you've already got one of those and it's going to be very, very lucrative, especially since you've got the lover's card. That's a card of duality. So if you're someone who has many fingers in many, many pies, you're actually attracting and accumulating a lot more finances this month. You're going to be really proud of it because you put the effort in and I see you looking at looking at the things in your life. If I make an effort in that area, um, that's what's going to thrive and you are trying not to spread yourself too thin this month because I do feel you're going to be very productive this month it's going to be very um you're going to be in the state of doing okay now also with the queen of pentacles um I'm getting a real indication that a lot of you are going to be finding a way to restructure your schedule to have a little bit more me time. Or if you have children, have a little bit more time with your children. I feel some of you, and not all of you, if you have children, there may be a purchase that you have to make for your child that perhaps you have to dip into your savings to uh, do, for example. I'm not sure what that is. It may be, let me see what that is. It could be, for example, if they really want to learn an instrument or if they really want to do something that is extracurricular and they've got a talent in that area, they're calling, um, you may have to buy something that aids them to do that, okay? That's only if you've got children. For some of you, if it is uh, you, you may be looking at your skills or you may be actually picking up a new hobby or something that you enjoy doing and you may have to dip into your savings to be able to afford that. But I see you being able to afford it and attracting more money. So what I see is, you know, when money is leaving the account, it's coming back in. Now, of course, May is not all about money, but because Taurus is governing us all during this month, it's more about money than usual, okay? Um, now, a lot of you, we've got the higher calling card here. And some of you, you may have taken a sabbatical or you may be thinking about taking some time out, really reevaluating your life and what you connect to, to take some time out for you. You may have felt that you haven't had enough time to really 
do some personal development. Some of you may be thinking about taking a trip that is spiritual in nature um, or connecting to your, I mean, it could even be if you're connected to a, you know, a religion or uh, you celebrate your source in some way, there may be like a group outing, um, you know, like a community outing even where you, you think about going on that. I definitely see it being very beneficial for you on uh, an emotional level. Not all of you are going to want to connect to that, but I also get this energy of you deepening your spiritual practices and learning more about your true path, your true prosperity path, your true north, your life's purpose. Um, with the higher calling card, it's in the resistance position. Some of you may also revisit a time where you made an error in judgment, either the trusting a person or... Um, you felt you gave your power away in a situation, this may come up as a memory in order for you to resolve that and step into your power and release it forever. Because a memory and an experience in the past, it no longer holds any weight in your life unless you allow it. So uh, I know that sounds really harsh, but they're indicating you may revisit something in order to fully get closure on a situation and let it go for good. Now, I don't really like to get political on the readings, um, but the judgment card with the Hierophant and the judgment card being in this position, along with the planetary alignments that we've got at the moment, some of you may be a little bit nervous about the changes that are occurring within governmental structures, and you may feel that um, there's been a lot of errors in judgment, or you feel there's been a lot of things going wrong. Um, and it's almost like you're looking, you're keeping a strong eye because they're actually showing me an eagle and they're showing me the eagle eye really close. So either some of you are trying to be very detached from that so you don't get nervous or anxious about it. As I see, you're putting yourself in a really good position to... Um, to navigate any changes that are occurring. And remember, you're not alone. We're all in this energy together. I see you being in a very good position. So relax, breathe. But I actually see you um, detaching yourself from the situation so you're not emotionally connected to it, but at the same time, keeping a, a really sharp eye on anything so that you're aware. Also, some of you will actually find an opportunity to either set up a business or um, if you've already got a business going on, I actually see you having it as an opportunity to thrive under uh, these circumstances, okay? Now, for some of you, if you don't know what you want to do in life, and some people don't, some people feel a little bit lost or you've been in limbo recently, you've been asking yourself that bigger philosophical question, what's my purpose or what is you know, what is the path that I should be taking, I feel like you will be having a moment where you suddenly have a eureka moment where you understand what you need to do and you're being called forward to do it, to take that direction. So I feel more this month is about investing in yourself and on your true life's purpose, but with your higher calling card and the Ace of Swords in this position, some of you may have been feeling a little bit like blocked or just feeling a little bit unmotivated or low energy and thinking, you know what, I've committed myself so much, all my energy to the thing that I really want to do, but you're just feeling a little bit meh recently. Now the planetary alignments have drained our energy. We have a lot of eclipses going on this year and also there's a lot of restructure and change. And we've just come out, of course, of some major developments over the last couple of years. So I feel like this month is really about finding your way back to yourself and revisiting aspects of yourself that you feel that you've missed out on or that you miss or you feel are dissatisfied with so that you can make some personal development changes. Now we do have the Eight of Pentacles there. The Eight of Pentacles in the resistance position, it can indicate that some of you may need to do some repair work over uh, the month of May. So you may find, and nobody likes to hear this, um, but I've already picked up on that energy of having to dip into your savings to either fix something or purchase something that you were not expecting. It's not a big shock and it's not a huge dent but it does, it will pop up. So you may need to repair something around the home space. But also I see with the Eight of Pentacles, you doing a lot of investing in yourself and really asking yourself if you enjoy what you do. And if the answer is no, and I'm talking about whether it's uh, your career or whether it is where you're at right now, you're going to be asking these questions. And if the answer is no, you're going to be making some changes. You're going to be cutting out things that drain your energy or make you feel sad or you know, you've been struggling with so that you can actually 
put yourself on the right path towards success and towards love. If you're looking for love, I feel that uh, you've been in a very solitary energy for a while and you recognize that if you're a homebody, unless you're on internet dating, if you're a homebody, you're going to find it very difficult to find love. So I see some of you readdressing the balance, making adjustments to get yourself out there into community events in order to find love. And I see a soulmate potential coming in for you in the month of May. The Eight of Pentacles indicates some of you may actually pick up a hobby or um, do something in the community where you learn more about skills or more about people or more about yourself. Uh, it could even be a spiritual retreat that you decide to go on where you will connect with like-minded people. And through that, I see you uh, meeting someone that is a romantic connection. There's a lot of spark and chemistry between you and this person, okay? Um, now, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, there's an indication here that someone may not have been telling you the whole truth about something, or you may feel a little bit nervous about what someone has told you. Uh, to have the Judgment card and the Ace of Swords in this position it indicates that some of you may feel that someone either let you down or someone has changed the way that they've talked to you or the way that they are acting with you and you're feeling a little bit like confused um, at the change. I feel the truth will out Okay, I feel like you've been honest and you've led with integrity. It could be something within your your workspace or within your home space. Uh, depends. Uh, even if you're in, um, you're retired and you connect to a community events. Maybe someone in your community that you think, hang on a minute, they've just changed the way that they interact with me. What's going on there? But the truth will out. Um, I feel that this person is going through um, something. So, for example, if someone said something negative towards you or has tried, you know, to push your buttons or put your nose out of joint a little bit, I feel they're actually going through something on a very personal level. And I feel, and it's not, an, you know, it's not acceptable, but I feel like they, they've, they're taking it out in that moment on you. Okay, so just watch out for that. For example, you know, if your boss is really extra snappy or someone you work with is extra snappy, what I'm seeing here is it's not personal but you will feel like it's personal, but it's actually not personal. It's coming from a place where this person is struggling with something. They're under excess stress is what they're giving me. So just watch out for that. Again, it's really important to stand your ground and speak your truth. Okay. So don't, you know, this is all about value for you this month. So, well, it should be value all the time, but if anyone like, um, is acting out of line, I definitely see you diplomatically putting them back in their place. Let's put it that way. But it is coming from a place where this person is super stressed. Now, also, I see a lot of you Leos out there trying to manage your stress levels um, and look at those and look at things that perhaps are not supporting the future for you um, or supporting your goals and dreams. I mean, literally, it says it here. Six of Swords indicates you're coming out of difficulty. You will resolve any issues. OK, uh, Six of Swords indicates, um, you know, you gaining greater wisdom. We've got the Ten of Cups here and we've got the King of Cups. So you're moving away from anything that you don't love, anything that really doesn't make you happy, um, and you're moving out of difficult times. You may have felt that you've been going through a very testing time at the moment and something that you've been really working hard to accomplish has been stalled or has not been working in the way that you'd hoped for. And you're taking a real step back in order to uh, work on things and get back on track. Uh, for some of you, if you've gone through a separation um, or you're going through a divorce, there is a potential for the other party to not act in their highest regard. Let's put it that way. But I definitely see that it's a win-win situation for you. Lead with integrity and you will get what you truly deserve and desire. If you're going through a divorce, there may be a little bit of delay in signing papers and things like that. Um, but it will turn out the way that you'd hoped for. You will, the right decision will be made is what I'm seeing. And although, um, someone may try to push your buttons or may try to, um, in some way, act a little bit Im immature, let's put it that way, immature, I definitely see you rising above that and diplomatically putting this person in their place, okay? Um, now, we've also got the surrender card, which is, of course, the equivalent of the hangman. So this is your outcome energy. So I'm being given, like, slow down a little bit, smell the roses kind of energy. Now, of course, we're all busy and sometimes we can't do that, but I feel May will be very productive, but 
bizarrely, you're going to feel like you've got a lot more done this month than other months. It's going to feel a little bit slower than usual. Um, I mean, tourist season, we do tend to slow down a little bit, but you may have felt that your world in some way was turned upside down, or you felt you were in limbo in some area of your life, wondering which pathway to take. By the end of the month, you'll actually suddenly have ideas and mental clarity. You'll know which path to take and you'll be inspired as well is what they're showing me. You're going to be in the flow. Now you tend to sacrifice a lot for the things that you really want to accomplish and it will pay off. There's some really great karma coming for you this month. And I feel suddenly if you've been feeling like you're in a maze or you feel that you've been a little bit lost recently, um, you're going to find um, a way to move forward, lots of new ideas, lots of clarity, but also you're taking action, okay? And you're going to see the results as well. Some of you may pick up like a night class or you may um, pick up, um, you know, a, a skill or even online learning because the Eight of Pentacles can, you know, indicate uh, with the hangman that you're going to Take a bit of a pause, maybe to learn a new skill that may open yourself up in the job market to something new as well. Uh, now, I've got really cold energy going on here um, around about the elbow area. Uh, now, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but they're giving it to me right now. So um, some of you, um, you may want to look at, uh, well, I'm just going to give you the energy that I'm being given. I'm being given two energies. One is like pay close attention to your joints. Okay. Um, so it could be like, make sure you've got the best food to, you know, keep your joints oiled and that, you know, give yourself some extra energy. Um, and some of you, I mean, if you've gone through a procedure or if you've had an injury or something in this area, I see you kicking back, relaxing and making sure that you're better before you actually extend this. So it could be something to do with the elbow or the forearm here. That's what I'm being given here. That's not going to resonate for everyone. For some of you, if you have gone through, um, a, you know, you've been waiting for a date to have a procedure, you may hear news about it in the month of May. And I definitely see um, by the end of May, I feel, you know, there's going to be action on that front. Uh, I see it happening and repairing. Okay, that's what I see here. Uh, so um, look out for that too. Now we do have the lovers card. And this is an outcome energy. So if you're looking for love, I feel like you have to put the effort in to put yourself in a situation to meet new love. Um, the universe will orchestrate a meeting and this is a destined relationship. The next person you meet is destined to be your soulmate. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up on that. For those of you who are already in a relationship, I feel you and your person will find a little bit more balance and harmony in your relationship. If you feel that you've been putting a lot of effort and work in and your person has been sitting back a little bit more, I feel like they will be more attentive in the month of May and they'll start to see um, that they need to put a little bit more effort in as well. Um, I feel you may even have like a date night or bring a little bit more of a spark, shall we say, into your relationship this month. You may find your partner getting a little bit more romantic this month because uh, tour season it's a little bit more sensual and you've got the lover's card here as well. But definitely a need to bring a little bit more music into your life as well. Now, the lover's card at grassroots is really about um, choice, but it's also about harmony and it's about the law of attraction. Your heart vibrating at a certain frequency to attract what you truly desire. So whatever it is that you're thinking about during this month, you're actually attracting it. Um, something that you've waited for for a long time. There's some really great news. Um, you've got a real breakthrough on this front, something you've been working so hard for. You've got a major breakthrough coming. So I definitely see some news that you've been perhaps checking your emails for or checking the post for. It comes in May. It may have been delayed. Uh, but after that Mercury retrograde um, from the 14th of May, things start moving in the right direction. Uh, you may also have contracts and lots of paperwork to deal with this month, especially if you're buying a large purchase or if you are investing in something that you love. There's going to be some paperwork there. Some of you, if you, you're in a business partnership, um, I feel it's going to be a little bit more harmonious. Some of you may be thinking about doing something on your own though. So maybe setting up a new stream of income or maybe thinking about, you know, um, delegating the work so that you can focus on something else. 
In the work environment, there may even be an office romance or a flirtation. If you're single and you're happy to connect with someone within the working environment, then go for it. Uh, but if you don't want to, because it could be difficult in dynamics, um, then be a little bit cautious about that. I mean, it's your call. We all have free will. But I do definitely see a potential for a flirtation coming through. I actually see this person as being your person. The next person is your person if you're looking for love, okay? Now, I do see that you're going to be a little bit more emotional or sensitive this month as well. There may have been something that has been very difficult for you to realize in your life. And I don't mean realize as in understand. I mean to come to fruition, uh, something that you've been building upon, working really hard towards. Um, and you may have felt that it's all work and no play. You may have felt that you are in a repetitive cycle where it just seems to be the same old thing a different day. I definitely see you um, getting a little bit emotional about that or a little bit sensitive about that, but I actually see you learning more about new things in your environment or in your um, local area where you connect to those things. I actually see you concentrating on having a little bit more fun this month. Um, with the moon card, I actually see doors opening for you, okay? There's something hiding behind the scenes or in waiting in the wings um, to sort of show up for you. And it's really positive. It really connects to your desires or something you've been trying to manifest for such a long time. And it's going to surprise you. You may have wanted it a couple of years ago or you may have wanted it even last month, but it never showed up. May is a really positive month. Or give me the word triumph. So it's like a breakthrough, a triumph for you, okay? Uh, doors are being opened so you can overcome any difficulty. Now, pay close attention to your dreams as well because I feel uh, they may hold the key to any difficult emotions that you're trying to resolve or get closure on. So pay close attention to that because I also feel like your dreams are trying to resolve things for you by giving you certain dreams that may be difficult. Um, so I'm not seeing a nightmare here, but I feel... Some of you may be having some very interesting dreams that are trying to help you resolve a situation emotionally. I'm just going to pull a card. Page of Pentacles. I feel it's a lot about your effort this month um, and how much you give to situations. You're a giver. Sometimes you may be an overgiver. So you may be looking at fairness in your life and the distribution of your energy to make sure that you get, yeah, I mean, look, the Two of Cups. Um, a fair deal or that there is reciprocity in your life. And I'm not just talking about in relationships that are connected to love. I'm talking about your family, your friendships, your working environments. You're looking at the exchange this month of all the effort that you put in and seeing areas that are working for you, areas that feel really great and areas that drain your energy and just don't feel like they're working anymore. So you're going to really restructure this month. Um, again, if you are looking for love, you're going to be talking to someone new. Pages, they bring news okay and the two of cups indicates there is a soulmate connection here some of you may also make an effort to be in a business partnership and you may offer up a little bit more money um, to invest in a business partnership or you make I see you bringing more money in. That's what I see. You investing, but also attracting more money. Um, a lot of you, if you're looking to change jobs or you put your resume out there, um, you are very talented. You're very skilled at what you do. And there's definitely a job opportunity being given to you and by the universe, something that you've gone for or something will land in your email uh, box. Or if you're going through one of those agencies, suddenly out of the blue, they're gonna message and say, we got the perfect job for you, okay? Some of you may be moving into a new sector when it comes to uh, your working environment. Um, for those of you who are retired, you may actually um, offer a bit of finances to buy a new property or to relocate. Um, Page of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Again, if you are looking for love, I don't care how old you are. If you're vibing at a frequency to attract love, that's what you're going to get this month. That's a def definitely very, very positive there. But again, if you look at it, these two cards, the Page of Pentacles is like, if you put the effort in, the universe will help you attract what you truly desire. That's what those two cards literally mean on a really, gr you know, really base level where you're not attributing, let me get my teeth back in my mouth, when you're not attributing it to love or career or um, money, it's, it's more about the effort that you put in. This month, you're going to see the rewards. You're going to see you know, the universe deliver some really positive um, opportunities as well as outcomes and rewards. Now, the Hierophant, the Hierophant 
what I'm seeing here, if you are looking for love, this is going to be a high level commitment relationship that you meet. And if you're already with someone and you're wondering how this relationship will uh, develop, it's going in the right direction. Let it develop organically. I feel there's some of you may feel uh, there's an intense psychic bond between you and this new person and it will lead to a higher level commitment moving in with each other getting married the Hierophant is a marriage card so I definitely see any love connections uh, it will lead in the direction of uh, long-term security some of you may have even if you're in a relationship already you may actually be getting married this month and if that's you massive congratulations to have the most incredible day uh, the sun will shine on your day is what they're giving me um, the hierophant is really about learning so a lot of you are going to be submerging yourself in extra knowledge whether you're watching videos online to absorb like like a sponge lots of information or whether you're putting yourself on a course with other people to um, enhance your skills that you've already got develop further uh, some of you may go to night class or you may be like deciding to study for a master's or for your degree whatever it is I definitely see you exploring your options and leveling up so that you can bring more finances more knowledge um, into your life as well and a lot of you are going to be connecting to your spiritual practices okay uh, some of you may be doing a little bit more meditation this month or praying or you know speaking to source if you celebrate a religion or a source um, and if you don't then I definitely see that you're finding your way home back to yourself in order to rediscover parts of yourself that you feel like you've missed over the last couple of years okay now we do have these two cards that popped out in the end, normally I wouldn't give extra cards, but they wanted me to, so I did. The Five of Swords is an indication of tension, okay? So some of you may have had a lot of pressure on recently, and you're trying to find a way to streamline it, um, and basically they're indicating do something that you love, whether that's going to the gym, whether that's painting, whether it is uh, reading, whatever it is, they're indicating quiet in the mind, breathe, relax. Uh, the Five of Swords can also indicate that yes you've come into contact with some people who are either complacent if you're in a business partnership or at work you may have some sort of drama or people who are trying to delegate be unfair give you a lot more of the work or be unkind in the workplace there's low office morale or office politics and I feel like you actually eradicate it with being kind and diplomatic okay so it's almost like you're being the bigger person in a situation and ignoring and just doing something that you love it could also indicate a family member or um, you know someone that is trying to push your buttons they like to win at all costs but they're not affecting your energy at all this month and I feel like you're just focusing on things that you love and recognizing that you are a gift you're really good at what you do you're really talented and I see lots of opportunity heading your way so with the five of swords this is a way of you overcoming any pressure and finding a creative outlet to allow yourself to you know have peace of mind um, now, again, the Five of Swords can indicate that, you know, it's time to put things right. If someone has um, either lied to you or, you know, if you were taking a job opportunity, for example, please read the contract. Make sure you read the fine print because sometimes people can put a little clause in there. It's like, you know, we can offer you a certain amount of money for the job. But when you find out and, you know, you've started the job, you find out in the clause, there may be like for six months, you're going to get like half the money that we were going to pay you um, just because it is a probation period. But once you pass that, then you can get the full amount. And you're like, hang on a minute. That didn't nobody told me that so just make sure you read the fine print before you sign anything this month I don't see anything negative but there may be something that you're a little bit cautious about and you may need to challenge in order to make it something that works for you okay remember you're finding your voice this month uh, Queen of Cups self-care um, you are someone who is an empath your healer and some of you may actually take a second stream of income where you develop your spiritual gifts in order to bring more finances in or you're just doing that uh, developing your spiritual gifts in order to feel more emotionally fulfilled and connected to source or to yourself so I definitely see that as a positive thing but also the Queen of Cups really recognizes what a gift 
she is. And again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. So it's really about being discerning about where you give your energy and where you give your time and your love and not over giving, uh, making sure that you have um, time for self care and that you protect your energy against anyone who wants to push your buttons. Because there's going to be a lot of naysayers out there. People are not going to understand your path. They don't understand what you do or where you want to go. And that's okay because it's not their journey. It's yours. So stand in your power and you're attracting some really good things. Uh, I definitely see there's a breakthrough information or news coming for you. And that's going to be around about mid-month. I would say it's around about the 16th or 17th of May. There's something that comes through that's connected to your true life's purpose. And there's got a lot of prosperity. I feel true prosperity is being attracted to you at this time. And you're stepping into your higher power. You're being required to step forward, um, express yourself through your actions and trust that your life has purpose and meaning and that there is a blueprint um, and you will find your way to that. And I do feel that your dreams and your goals are relevant. Reach for the stars. That's what they're giving me. Reach for the stars. It's very important. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to go get some final cards before I close your reading. Um, this month, although it feels like nothing's really happening, there's going to be a lot happening. So I see you really focusing on your projects. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide? And they want one more, so I'm going to give it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Okay. Um, so we have closing. So come to the end of a phase, a conclusion of something, or completing a cycle. you got the Six of Swords, which means you're moving on from any difficulties. You're getting closure on situations that have gone stagnant or are just empty for you, okay? Because you deserve better. Uh, this is a golden opportunity to affect change, is what they're giving me. We've also got transformation. Okay, the snake there. Now, snakes in the Lenormand deck, and this is not the Lenormand deck. This is, of course, the Egyptian Visions by Murka X, which is an incredible deck there. Uh, I always put all the decks I use in the comments box below. But there's major transformation here. So tra transforming your finances, transforming your path. Some of you may spin off into another direction and really explore all your options in life. Um, there may be a little bit of travel, but I see a lot of knowledge this month and you getting stuff done. Almost like getting really organized in order to have more time for you and to have more fun in life. And it says undergoing a dramatic change, separation from old life and the dying of the false self. Okay. All that glitters is not gold. And I feel like you have been on a very spiritual journey over the last couple of years. And I feel like you are rediscovering parts of yourself that you do miss, but at the same time saying goodbye and, you know, closing chapters in your life. And May is the start of something really positive. We do have high on life as well there for you. And it says here, extremely happy with life, living life to the fullest, excitement and happiness. And there is going to be a lot to be happy for over the month of May. Um, now, you may actually see lots of images of scarab beetles is what they're giving me. Okay, so look out for the scarab beetle. Scarab beetles are all about prosperity, good luck, and blocking any negative energy. And I really feel that's something that you're going to be looking at in the month of May. So look out for scarab beetles. In particular, they're showing me a blue one. Okay, so you may see uh, an image of one on a billboard or around someone's neck or someone gifts you one. Okay. Um, also, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. They're giving me this sentence. In the month of May, you're going to make your point. Someone's going to understand your point and they're going to see that you were right about something. Okay. Um, you may felt that some people have not understood you in something or you've had to stand your ground on something and people just didn't get it. But now it seems you've made your point and you were right. Okay. So that's coming through as well. Now we've got, I can change my thoughts. Okay, uh, very important as we lots of gold there. Loving all the gold stuff for my beautiful Leos out there. Um, but they're indicating here that thoughts become things. So it's so important. Sometimes life, it gets really busy and it gets really pressurized. And it's important to remain as positive as possible. Now, life is just not like that. We can't, as humans, always be positive. If anyone tells you, you know, oh, I'm positive all the time, then, you know, beware of that person because they're trying to, you know, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they are glossing over things that perhaps need to be focused on. 
sometimes, you know, we can move between states in moments. We can feel, you know, incredibly emotional. A song can trigger us, or we can feel extremely happy, or we can feel sad or afraid or worried about the thoughts that just come into our mind. It's about identifying the things that trigger us and helping us through those things in order to realize we're actually in a really good position and that we are being protected as we move throughout, um, you know, our lives. Uh, Thoughts, they do become things, so it's so important to, um, and if you look at any of the famous people who have really created some wonderful things in our world, like um, Albert Einstein or Tesla or you know all of those people, um, Marie Curie, all of those people who created some incredible things that we have now in our society, they believed in vibrations and positive mind attraction. It's like the law of attraction. So if you can... Um, it's really important to um, change those negative self-talk moments and we all have them. So if we feel like we're not good enough or we feel like we don't look good or we feel, uh, you know, we can't do something, really refocus and stand in your power this month because I feel it's going to be very important for you getting that point across or getting that promotion or that raise or more money. Whatever it is, I see you attracting what you desire. So um, just remember that. And we've got number 12 here. Okay, number 12. I mean, look. You got number four there, which really indicates your fourth house. And we got number 12 here, which is all about the hangman energy. Something you've been waiting for. This card is in divine timing. Okay, so again, I'm divinely guided. So I feel there's something here that you've been waiting for or working really hard to achieve. You get the go ahead or it moves forward and you see on the physical plane evidence that things are headed in the right direction this month. And you're going to be so proud of yourself because you did this. We got the Queen of Pentacles, we got the Seven of Pentacles, your hard work, your investment, your plans, they are taking root and they are relevant and they're working, okay? It may have taken a while for them to take off, but you're going to feel very accomplished by the end of the month and you're going to do something that you absolutely love. Don't allow fear or anyone else their expectations. Don't let it derail you from your path because you are on the right path. I'm just going to go and get um, some runes before we close. Okay, now the first one here is water. So pay close attention to your emotions, especially your dreams as well. You may have psychic moments in your dreams. This is a car, sorry, a rune of uh, using your intuition or developing your intuitive skills and recognizing that your emotions are relevant. We are given emotions for a reason, okay? It is a heightened state for us to check in with ourselves and see where we're at. And if we're not happy, it's time to make those changes. This um, full moon eclipse in Scorpio actually helps us make those changes. Uh, now, also, we've got, oh, I'm loving this because uh, they're actually showing me this card. Uh, sorry, this card here in the water. OK, so I haven't looked really fully. Yeah, there we go. This is the destiny ruin is dice. So taking leaps of faith, um, working really hard in secret about something perhaps it's really close to your heart again this connects to intuition as well you just know you're going to be successful okay also it really connects to destiny all what I mean by that is you know anybody you meet this month it's destined to happen whether that's in love or in business or just in friendship you're meant to meet this person you're meant to meet this situation there's going to be lots of numerical synchronicity as well so look out for double numbers they're actually giving me 222 for you so look out for that as well it'll be relevant it could be the number of someone's cell phone the end of it or it could be a building that you have to go to or the time that you get some really good news. And finally, the rune we got here is giant. This is a giant rune. And this connects to protection. Uh, also connects to counsel, getting advice on certain areas. Um, but it's also connects to luck. Okay. And it can indicate non-action. So it's like slow down. Um, take a pause before you make any big decisions. You are protected and you're redirected. If there's anything that doesn't go your way, there's a reason always for that. But trust in the process. Even if there's a delay in something, there is meant to be a delay for a reason. Uh, for example, there was something in my life recently, a couple of weeks ago, I wanted, basically there was a deadline and I had to hit the deadline and forces out of my control were delaying it. I was very organized. I was getting everything done and external forces beyond my control, other people, um, there was a delay and there was nothing I could do about it. And I was frustrated, of course. And, you know, I tried as much as possible to move it ahead and it just would not budge. And then I was like, okay, I've obviously got to surrender to the point that 
it's not going to happen on the deadline and maybe I'm going to lose out. But hey, it is what it is. And actually, it was really good that it was in delay because it was something that everybody missed and needed to be looked at. And if we'd forged away and gone ahead, you know, we could have missed on that particular project and it would have been detrimental to the whole thing. So some day, some delays, shall we say, are super important. Trust the process. Okay. I'll leave it there. I hope something resonated in that reading for you, my beautiful Leo. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Leo. Love and light.